Hey, what's up guys, Tektine here, and I'm back with another video. And last week, Apple has unveiled their new iPad Pro. So, and a lot of people um, really don't know who's it for. And personally, I'm one of those people. So, let's talk about it. Let's see if the iPad Pro is for a specific audience. <laughs> So the iPad Pro is very capable, uh, it has top-notch specs, so it has 4 gigs of RAM and A9X chip, which will make perform which in performance, which uh, translates to great performance, and the iPad, um, the iPad's display is a bit higher than Quad HD, so it's great for media consumption, but it's 13 inches. So the design hasn't changed other than the four speakers and the magnetic, the smart connector, magnetic thing that Apple uh, put so that you can use their wireless keyboard. This iPad is very capable, but it has their own software. So it runs iOS. Now I'm not saying that iOS is horrible, iOS is bad, but I wish that they would have made a modified version of OS X because I think that's what would make the iPad Pro different but since they went with iOS route it's just a powerful machine and it's great for media consumption and everything but it's $800 so and, I would st and it's not very compact either so I would rather get the iPad mini over, that, over the iPad Pro even though it doesn't have the uh, same great display or the more cap with the 4 gigs of RAM or the A9X chip, but it will still do what I want it to do. So, iPad Pro is, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's just a, it's a great machine, but who's it for? Where's like wh what's the audience that Apple is targeting? Uh, I I don't know. That's the thing. Uh, there there's gonna be some people that are gonna buy it, and they showed the Apple pencil, so. It might be for people who are in the graphic design world, but still, the iPad, I mean, $800, I think there are a lot more machines that are capable of doing the same thing as the iPad Pro for a better price. So, I don't know, I'm not really sure who, what Apple's trying to do with the iPad Pro, but then again, the iPad mini, a lot of people were skeptical about it, but it made more success than the than a regular iPad Air. People like the iPad mini more than they like the, their iPad Air or their original iPad, their iPad Airs, because it's more compact, you can, you can, I mean, you can't use it with one hand, but you can easily hold it with one hand and use it with the other, but with a 13 inch, I don't think, holding it will get a little uncomfortable, even though it doesn't weigh even though it's just like over one and a half pounds, but still, I mean, people like, I mean, the reason the iPad mini was successful is because it was compact, so I don't know. iPad Pro, tell me guys what you think about the iPad Pro. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. This is just me discussing about the iPad Pro and trying to figure out who's it for, but I'm sure we're gonna see in the near future who Apple's trying to target with the iPad Pro. So leave a like, um, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment.